Hey guys, and welcome to an original Retry This production. Today I will be continuing with my Game Maker tutorial on creating a character select screen version 2. This is version 2 of my character select screen. I have a version 1. It works fine, but this is a different method of using it. So, when we last left off, we made the character scrolling, but we didn't actually make the character select. So first, in any control object, what you want to do, any control object, preferably in the character select screen, or wherever it's going to be. So let me see. I have lots of controllers in here. So, whatever. So in a control object, you want to add an event, a key release event, and a spacebar event. So control, execute code. All we have to tell it to do is room underscore go to open parentheses and the and the name of the room that your your player is going to start off in. In my case it's basic underscore room. I have to rename it basic underscore room. So let me just rename this basic underscore room. Um did I name it right? Okay good. Now we want to go to that room. We want to edit its creation code. So in its creation code, what we want to do is so want to go to settings of the room and creation code. So now we want to tell it to create the corresponding player that we clicked on or press spacebar. So we want it to do we want to say if global dot character Global dot character select equals zero. Open bracket. Wanted to say. So we wanted to create the corresponding player or the first player in this case. So in this case, it would be the black player, which I have. It's black, blue, orange, green. That's the order. So I want to tell it to global dot character select is equal to zero. Instance underscore create. I'll create them at like 60, comma 304, comma obj underscore black player. Close parentheses, closing bracket. So I can just copy this. I love shortcuts. Next, we want to add an else. If global dot character select is equal to one, it was black blue. So instance create blue 60 comma 304 comma obj underscore blue player and you just want to do this for however many players you have so if global dot character select is equal to 2 obj underscore black blue orange so orange player just remember you're only doing it up to the number of players you have minus one so in this case I have four available players so I would do it up to else if global dot character select is equal to three. So this is my last one. So black, blue, orange, green. This is my last player. I have four available players, but this is the last one. So because it starts at zero. So now we're done. We can start it up. Just press play. Okay, it started my engine. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot about um, the character select, the um, menu I created. The menu I created, I told it to if I press space bar. So, hold on. Key release, space. There we go. Okay. Okay, so I'm at my menu. When I scroll through the available options, I have four different players to choose from. I'm going to say I want to work with blue player. Press space bar. Start off as blue player. Woohoo. It's a little laggy because I'm recording. So now let me go to my restart that engine. 
I don't know how, I never put a restart button in it, did I? Oh well, let me just... Black player. Created black player. Um, red player. Ooh, blue player. Fail. Wait, no, I already did blue player. Double fail. Orange player. Um, what's the last color? Green player. Whatcha? And there we have it. My character selects green works without a hitch. So, um, yeah. It works without a hitch. I apologize for the little, um, bug that happened a little bit earlier with the going straight to the, going straight to this room. That was because I forgot about my, my first menu that I created. I forgot about, overlooked that part. Had to change one thing. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. So, this has been an original Retry This Production. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Press that yellow button. Woohoo.